Hey guys, what's up? Just thought I'd uh, show you a lap of the Nodgelifer in this Group C monster. <laughs> the uh, the Porsche 962C. This was my first session on it and uh, what you're seeing right now is me coming to the end of my outlap and, and going for my first hot lap. Now, um, the aim of this video is not to, you know, be good immediately because I'm still practicing, I'm still getting very used to uh, the wheel and stuff and getting very used to driving at a high speed around uh, different types of courses and I just felt like driving the uh, the Nordschleifer but yeah this this Group C car is, is just it was so fun to drive because earlier I was driving the uh, a variant of the 962C I'll put it up on screen I can't remember the name of it um, but that one had a higher top speed and I thought that's only good for the straight like this one has a lot shorter gearing um, and I don't know, it's just better around the corners so this is my first session with it and you can see that I was actually going into much lower gears than I needed to be um, yeah you'll see this crest here I broke a lot more than I needed to actually no that was alright but yeah, I, like for this corner here, I immediately picked up. I could just, um, I could have just shifted to three. Um, you know, now that I look back on it, but I shifted to two because uh, that's what it was like on the higher top speed version of the 962. So yeah, we're coming around here, I'm trying to take it slowly, but. Yeah, I, I tried to shift down to one to get a better run out of this complex here. And, uh, yeah, this left-hander coming up, I completely botched. My, I think my right tyre got caught on the grass there, and I just got a bunch of understeer. I took third through there, because I, I knew I didn't need to take second. I picked, on, picked up on that pretty quickly. Then you're coming into uh, Miss Hit Miss. I think I did this pretty well. I kind of just stayed in fourth and just rode the throttle through. Kind of nursed it through and then coming into some heavy braking here. It was a lot more easier in this uh, 962C actually. Found myself in the wall on the other car. Yeah, I only needed to shift down one here, and you can use all the road here. I thought I'd go down to second for the elevation change and get a good run out of here. And, yeah, for this uh, right-handed hairpin, I don't know what I... don't know what I took here. We'll see. Okay, so I took third. I, I picked up on that pretty quickly. And, um, yeah, like I said about the shorter gearing, like, I'm already in fifth. Like before I even reach halfway around this left-handed, long left-handed bit. You're yeah, reaching 175 miles an hour before this left-hander here. Um, yeah, I broke and then went down into fourth for that, which I did a few laps after. I'm recording this, I, I did a few laps after. And you can just take fifth through there. No need to shift down into first here. And for the carousel, I had to go around the outside. Like this car is just way too low to take the inside. Although uh, I haven't tried it personally, but I just kind of that was just my first impressions. Yeah, here's, here's where I was like, I'm kind of still shifting down into second when I don't really need to be. This was a bit jittery. These next few corners, especially uh, coming up to YouTube corner up there. Um, yeah, I, I wasn't really good through here. Like, I just stayed in fourth for some reason. I didn't... Yeah, I wasn't thinking. <laughs> that was awful there. Lost a lot of time in there.
didn't really need to go down to second there. And now we're coming up to the one of my favourite parts of the circuit because of its high top speeds and its elevation changes. Kind of got to nurse the car through this section and then you just set free. You just set loose. You can just ride it out in fifth. Look at this. Then you're coming up to the second carousel. I hate this corner because it makes your traction go all over the place. I got so much wheel spin coming out of there. I could have probably stayed in fourth through these last corners. Yeah, now you're riding it out until uh, until this straight. Now um, this this straight with the wheel is like. It doesn't look it, but it was actually so bumpy. Like, it was actually hard to keep the damn thing straight. So, yeah, do not go into that grass on the right over there. Reaching the limiter, yeah, you can tell this is definitely more in the corners. And you're braking heavily. Yeah, that was the lap, the Nordschleifer. Um, I'd say possibly one of my cleanest laps. Uh, definitely not. No, nowhere near the uh, a good time. I'm still kind of coming too, but I think yeah, here you see I got a that lap was a six minute and twenty. So obviously the time needs to be improved, but in terms of consistency and 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 all that. Like I was really proud of that lap. But anyway, thanks for watching and uh I'll be sure to make more videos like this.